reality, there's a lot less fire and a lot more finesse to wood burning. The craft dates back to ancient cultures, including the Egyptians. Folk artist Chrissy Valentine gravitated toward wood burning after starting out sketching and painting. I'm not exactly sure how long I've known her because we had friends in common for a long time. But then we didn't get to be close friends until we were in a band together. When I first saw her work hanging in a show, it was one of the shows at Ink Spot, the old Ink Spot, and but I was really impressed with her work. I've known Chrissy for a long time and She's uh, asked me about doing an art show, and uh, at first I didn't know she could, you know, she painted or anything or had any interest in that. And uh, so I told her to get her stuff together and come by the shop, and we'll put a show together for her. And uh, when I saw her work, I I really loved it. It was uh, it was different, and uh, she had a lot of potential. And it was cool that she, you know, had no formal art training that I was aware of, and was you know, able to to do this, create her own style, a little underground. It's like uh, Tim Burton meets uh, Lisa Frank. <laughs> I did a lot of skeletons in the beginning and flowers, skeletons standing amongst gardens and um, pretty things. But wood burning, I started that probably about seven years ago. I just saw it at the craft store and decided that would probably be pretty cool if I could teach myself how to do that, so I did. Wood burning is a lot like drawing. You just have to learn how much pressure to put down at the right time. So it's a little different than painting, but I'd already been drawing a good bit, so it wasn't that difficult to do. I'm trying to teach my daughter to do it now. It takes time, I guess. I think music and art kind of go together. I think they're both on the same level. Morning Bell Records is a uh, record store, music venue, and uh, recording studio. We opened in uh, March of 2012. We've done a, a couple of different art shows. I believe the first large one we did was actually a show for Chrissy's work. I really like Chrissy's work a lot. I don't know if it's just the fact that it's burned into wood and it feels more permanent and it also feels a little vintage. Me and my wife were working on a uh, dresser that we'd had for a long time and stripping paint off of it and refinishing it. And uh, that was right about the time that Chrissy had her art show in her store. So we stripped the paint, my husband sanded it, and I finished it with the wood oil. And my husband had the idea to um, get a art piece done on it and said call up Chrissy and see if she can commission a piece. That's what we did. We decided on the hummingbird. I think it turned out great. We love it. And what about those animals that are favorite subjects? That all comes from my grandpa. Him and I were really close. Um, I mean I spent probably every waking minute with him when I was a child and uh, he had this huge collection of National Geographics, which I probably read a hundred times, you know, front to back. He had birds, and we had 18 rabbits at one time, dogs, cats, you know, any kind of animal. Growing up, I was a huge tomboy. I was in the ditches, you know, I'll pick up anything as long as it's not a roach. But I like being a girl. I mean, I like dressing up, and I like clothes, and I like makeup. Yeah, I like bugs. <laughs> if I had to sum up Chrissy in three words, that's really hard. Um, well, to me, first of all, she's a friend. She's one of my best friends. Um, 
She's also one of the girliest people I know, so I would say feminine and talented. She's definitely got raw talent in spades. Ha, ha, ha.